steering angle is important, but we can also see that there's going to be other inputs that the ABS unit is going to look at to determine the car is going straight. So if, for example, you did not happen to do a steering angle reset after a wheel alignment, and I'm saying that because real world is there are lots and lots of alignments done every day and someone didn't do the steering angle reset and the last we checked the car may not have ended up in a brick wall somewhere I want you to understand there's going to be other pieces here of the ABS unit software looking to verify the car is going straight as well as of course the steering angle so that's not to minimize the importance of steering angle it is very important but I do want you to understand that you may have some limitations in resetting some cars based on what your scanner can do. First, let's look at most common reasons to do it. Most common reasons to do it, you get a light on the dash, for example. In this case, the stability control program is disabled. You know, it may have a mechanical fault, may be defective, may have a bad signal, and you put one in and you have to reset it so we can put it to zero. The self-adjust procedure is one of my favorites because of the fact that it's nothing more than turning the steering wheel to do it. In this example, what I'm going to show you is a, an example from Chrysler. It happens to be a bulletin. If the battery was disconnected, you're supposed to do the express window relearn, which is, you know, the power window relearn, where you hold the switch down to relearn the express up windows. But what we're going to focus on at the same time, you're supposed to do a reset on the uh, electronic stability control steering sensor. And Chrysler, in this case, or Mercedes-Benz is another common vehicle manufacturer. The procedure is pretty simple. All you do is start the engine, turn the wheel to the lock, full right, turn the wheels to the lock, full left, turn the wheels till they're basically center, make sure there are no codes and you're good to go. So not all Chrysler's are this easy, but what you can see is that Chrysler's often have an auto learn, and this would be a very typical, easy way to go. Now what's important that you understand as we move ahead is that I tend to do this on all cars, 